Express Coming Through. Written and voiced by Nikhil Patterson. Gordon, the big tender engine, is one of the fastest engines of the Tottenham Hatch Railway that pulls the Express. He's proud of being blue as he wishes past other engines saying his favorite line. Express coming through, he always says. One day, Thomas was at the station when Gordon puffed in. Someone seems busy today, said Thomas brightly. Little Thomas, you wouldn't understand what busy means, Gordon said proudly. Of course I do, I have a branch line, but here's some advice to take in. You might want to slow down coming into stations. I've noticed that recently, you've been coming in too fast. You don't want to crash into other engines now, do you? I don't. And I have everything under control, Puff Gordon. I don't need some little engine telling me how to do what I do best. But little engines can do big things. You can't underestimate them, said Thomas. Then it went silent. Oh, little Thomas, do you really think I'd crash? That's nonsense. I'd never be so reckless. But before Thomas could say anything cheeky, the signal turned green and the engines were off. Annie, Clarabo, Thomas called. Yes, they answered. Do you think little engines can be right? He asked. Yes, they said. Then they sang. Little engines can be right. Little engines are delight. Thomas, you mustn't be down. Little engines have silver clouds, they sang. You're right, said Thomas. I'll show you, Gordon. I'll show you, he sang. But Gordon was singing a song of his own. I'll show you wrong, I'll show you wrong. Gordon had an idea that flew into his funnel. He went faster and faster. He went so fast, he went up his hill without stopping. Now he was at the peak of the hill. Usually, his driver applied the brakes. Gordon should have known this from a previous incident with James. And that's where everything went downhill, literally. His coaches told him to slow down, but he couldn't. Meanwhile, James was at the station getting his freight train together. Yuck, he said, bopping the cars. Disgusting! Says you, the truck said. He bumped them hard. Soon all the cars were put in order and were ready for James to take off. He was leaving the station when he heard a whistle. It was Gordon's whistle. The driver and fireman tried to control the runaway Gordon, but they couldn't. Gordon was going fast. Straight into the back of James's train at the station. Gordon didn't feel too fast anymore. He felt rather slow. Great! Look what you did, said a sarcastic James. But luckily, no one was in the train, but his driver and fireman happened to jump out in time. So Topham had had seen everything. He walked over to the mess Gordon made and spoke to Gordon very severely. You, Gordon, have caused a lot of confusion and delay. And look around you. This station is a mess, he said. I'm sorry, sir. So Topham Hat sighed annoyedly. I shall send Thomas and Percy to help clean this mess. And as for you, you will have to prove yourself that you can pull the express. I'm giving it to Thomas and Percy. Your express, he said. But sir, I don't want to hear it. No buts, no cuts, and no coconuts. Then he walked away. Gordon felt sad, and he wasn't ready to see Thomas. Soon, Thomas came along. I'd never be so reckless, he told Gordon, cheekily. But he soon realized how sad Gordon was and stopped being cheeky. It's going to be okay, said Thomas. We all make mistakes. Soon, Percy arrived with the breakdown train and put Gordon back on the tracks. Thomas cleared the mess by pulling and pushing the trucks that James had. You should have learned your lesson by now. You should have learned your lesson by now, said Thomas. Oh, we should have. Oh, we should have, said the trucks. Soon, all the cars were pushed into a siding and the breakdown train picked up James. It's about time, he said. But while Gordon was getting mended, Thomas always stopped by to see Gordon and tell him the news to try to cheer him up. I hope Gordon doesn't make the same mistake again. Do you think he would? 